Hi there, I'm Michelle the Painter. Today I'm going to be doing something super fun that I did oh, maybe about a month or two ago. I'm going to be painting blindfolded again. <laughs> I had so much fun doing it last time that I thought I would do it again, but this time I'm doing my most popular video tutorial that I have on YouTube, which is a super cute snowman. <laughs> so I think he's named cute cutest snowman number one, which there are number two and number three as well, but I figured I would do the first one. So in the spirit of that original painting, I am also going to be having my sip of wine. <laughs> so I will be blindfolded and sipping while painting this fun image. I am working on a similar size canvas. I think the original was a little bit bigger, um, but this is one that I'm, but the size that I'm comfortable with working on these days because I work on it all the time. So I figured go for my comfort zone. So it's 16 by 20. My colors are just the same as they are in the um, in the video, which is Mars black, burnt umber, cobalt blue, titanium white. I've got some fire red, chrome orange, and green oxide. Uh, my brushes are pretty similar to those in the video. I don't carry the ones in the video anymore, so I figured I'd do something similar. So I have an inch wide flat bristle brush and a number 12 and a number four round synthetic brushes. And these are from my personal brush line, which is Michelle the Painter Brushes. And of course I have my paper towel and my cup of water to wash my brushes. And last time I did this, my brush ended up in my sipping cup. So I'm hoping this time it doesn't do that because I'd like to drink my, my glass of wine. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. So deep breath. I think I'm ready. I'm going to put on my blindfold. And when I'm ready, all ready, you guys got to wish me luck too. On this. <laughs> I, I heard last time I did this that you guys were just cheering me on the whole time. So I, I think I need some more of that, that confidence and helping me through my process, even though I can't hear you through the camera. I'll pretend like I can hear you in my head. Okay, so I think, I think I'm ready. So go ahead and press play, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> All right, so for the first step, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pre-mixing oh. what I like to refer to as a warm gray. Okay. So I'm gonna take this larger area of white and I'm gonna add some brown to it, just okay. a little scoop of brown and a little scoop of black. And the brown, brown is going to bring this into a warmer kind of, of gray. I'm going for like a medium tone. That to me is a little bit too light, so I'm going to add more of both colors. Into I don't know if mine is so too light. Brown and a little bit of black. It's always easier to just keep adding those um, stronger colors as opposed to adding too much. I have much no idea what color that is. Maybe bring back some I don't know, white. Maybe a little bit more brown. Um, this gray will turn darker as it dries, okay. so just know that you want it to be kind of like a medium gray with a little brown undertone. Sure, um, sure that's what mine is. <laughs> you can certainly modify it as okay. you want. And what we're going to do with that gray is we are going to be making the outline of our snowman with this medium, oh. this uh, number 12 round brush. I put my 12 so I've got in my my gray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first do the center ball of the snowman. And for me, this is going to start about halfway up the canvas. And I want it to be um, almost like halfway between the bottom and here. And I'm just really going to make myself a pretty good sized circle. And that's going to be modified as this progress progresses, so don't worry if it's not perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the bottom ball. It's going to be a little bit wider, and I want it to kind of have a flat side. I'm going to start about okay. midway up the sides of this, um, this snowball, and then I kind of get it a little bit okay, flatter at the bottom. I'm going to do another one up here. Something like that. And again, you're going to modify it as you go along. And now I need to do my head. So I'm going to start this. Okay. Um, I don't want it as wide as the second ball, so I'm going to start it right about here and here, and something along that. And you can overlap, Find and that makes it there. easier for, for yeah. you to um, to see the circle. Okay. And that's all we're going to do for the first step. So cool. the next step, we're going to use the bigger brush. So when you're ready, put this in your water cup, take out your big flat brush, and get ready for the next step. Okay. I can sip too while she's doing okay. that. Okay. So what I'm going to do for the next step, I'm using my big flat brush. I'm using that pre-mixed warm gray, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the entire exterior of my canvas. You don't need to do any particular brush strokes. I'm just going to be going left to right, 
as I get around my snowman, you may find um, that I'm gonna. Um, what am I gonna do here? You know, just go around the snowman, but know that you don't snowman. need any special brush stroke because when you use these lighter colors, they really cover your canvas well. So the stroke is not really going to matter okay. if you have a nice solid color. It will um, dry in a nice solid fashion. Plus, we're going to be okay. putting snow on the canvas later. So if you do have any spots that didn't get covered as well as you want them to, you'll be able to strategically place any snow on that canvas and that will give it um, a nice finished look. And you can see every now and then, whoops, there goes my easel. Oh good, I'm glad she's having trouble. So I'm gonna make sure that my canvas is in my camera right now. And I'm going to make any adjustments. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That's a little odd. Is, are we doing all right? All right, we're doing all right. So I'm just going to keep painting that. That was a little interesting. It's That's tough to find I text. I think I had it tipped too far forward. But okay. if you guys can still see it, then we're good to go. Um, and again, I'm just kind Someone of finishing painting this background with my thread. You can see I'm, I'm not painting too, too fast. Um, I do so want to get a nice, even coverage. And some people like to do a second coat. Um, but I'm right now I'm just going around my snowman outline. My snowman will probably end up being a little bit bigger than it is right now because when I go to do um, the colors in the snowman, I'll probably bulk it out a little bit. But this way, at least I have a nice um, outline for it that makes it so I can um, have some kind of guideline as I go into the, the process in a few minutes of making the color. Oh, I think I just so chopped off the whole top of my snowman. And some of you may want to paint Sorry. the edges or the sides of your canvas. Um, sometimes okay. you'll notice as I go along in this no process, idea. you'll catch me this. kind of reaching over on the edges because I like mine painted. Um, because we are using a nice solid color for this first coat, I can always go back later too and just kind of tidy up those edges before I, um, you know, before I call it done. But right now, I'm just kind of painting all around my snowman. I feel like and my snowman's head is really here. big right we now. We are going to use um, this larger brush for the next step. Okay. So once you get this all colored in, you're going to want to wash and dry this big brush in preparation for the next step. All right. I hope I had that one successful. <laughs> Let's see here. Washing and drying my brush. Okay. All right, so Oops, what we're going to do for the next step is we're painting in the snowman mm -hmm. with the base color. So I'm going to be using three colors. I'm going to be using white, brown, and blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white and I'm going to be dotting okay, my clean the entire over here. snowman with kind of heavy white. Um, this way, oh, when I go snowman. to do um, the other colors, which are the blue and the brown. This white is gonna be nice and fluffy and it's still gonna be wet because I'm using a good amount here. So, and this is where if you wanted to, you could um, kind of manipulate the exterior shape of the snowman. Um, okay. But you can see I'm well, just kind of dotting it. You could use a bristle brush for this particular step. Uh, brush I wanted to use for the background, but you can certainly switch it up. Um, you do want to keep your edges kind of messy. Um, <laughs> I really don't have any problem with that being happening. Um, messy edges. Okay. It not really look exactly like a realistic kind of snowman. A realistic kind of snowman is going to have bumps and stuff around the edges. Um, so now small that I've got the okay. initial shape in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up more white okay. and a touch of brown and a touch of blue. And when I mean just a touch, white. I mean just a touch. And what touch I'm going to do blue. is I'm using this as like a, a, brown. a shadow along the edges. I'm going to put shadow a little bit down along below, the edges. And okay. I'm just kind of lightly dotting it right now. I'm going to bring it in a little bit in through here. I'm picking up just a touch more brown. What side? And now just that I've bottom? kind of got 
these little um, almost series of dots, what I'm going to do is start to blend it just a little bit going into the snowman itself. So it's still kind of wet. So I can take this brush and just hmm. kind of lightly uh -oh, dot. That's what I just did. I don't want it to look exactly like, I think I have a fly in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, I did that video a long time ago. <laughs> Times have changed. <laughs> so this way it gives it a, a hue or kind of a shadowed and then my little area small around ball. the edges. Um, you can make it lighter, you could make it darker. What is Whatever is visually appealing to you okay. is going to work. Um, I'm going to bring this and one in a little bit more. Maybe I'm going to a little bit more white. I think I'm going to use a touch more brown, too. I like mine to look okay. uh, more on the natural side. And to me, I feel like when you're building I want, a snowman, I don't know what I'm doing here, but we're going to feel like I want more because you're working blue outside. and brown. So you can make it as you know warm as you want with just a little bit more brown. I mean, you don't necessarily want it to look dirty. but You can have dirty snowmen. Little bits of... Um, shadows along the exterior of the snowballs, so to speak, okay. um, really helps to make it look nice Two, and natural. Three. I'm kind of putting my head back. This is going to be a nice, okay. healthy looking snowman. Okay. Um, so don't be too I think that's all concerned <laughs> about the head area because you're going to have a big, huge hat on there. You're going to be disguising it with um, a whole lot of other elements. So Good. Maybe I'm I can make snow all over. <laughs> about that, but I'm just kind of darkening this up just a little bit on the edges because okay. I wanted to have um, a little bit more of that shadow look. So okay. I added a little bit more brown. And then Good once you. you feel Adding like more you've, you've accomplished this, we are going to be switching brushes to um, that medium brown brush. So I think I have the number um, 12 brown okay. brush. So all right. get this all done, Watch you that put brush. this large brush away in your water cup and take out your round brush. Got it. Okay. okay, so what I'm going to be doing for the next step with my number 12 round brush is I'm going to create the first layer of my hat. hat. So I'm going to use just black paint Okay. and I'm going to take my brush. I like to take my brush and spin it on the side of my palette because that gives me a nice pointy tip. And what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Loaded. dot at the left corner of his neck and the right corner of his neck and then I'm going to connect those two dots. So I'm in essence just drawing an outline around his head. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those two reference points on the neck and the neck, and I'm going to make myself in essence kind of like a halo. So I'm going to do something along this line. I'm going to bring it right back to this point and this point. Okay. And then I'm going to color that part in with just black paint. What? So I'm using that same brush. Oh, that's the part where we go like this. And what I, I have painted this before, just for the record, but with my eyes open. The top section. So you, I like to use a lot of paint on my brush when I'm using black, um, simply because it allows me to get a nice, um, smooth stroke to it. Um, you might want to add a little bit of water to it. Sometimes when mm -hmm. you're doing smaller lines, that helps out. Did she do the rest of the head yet? Um, I just use more, and that helps me to get the nice smooth lines. And now I'm going to do, I want to add the top of, to the hat, but I don't want it as wide as these exterior pieces. So I'm going to make myself a couple of markers, maybe one sure. right about there and maybe one right about here. And for me, I want kind of a big hat. Right. Um, it's going to be kind of wider at the top and more narrow here and it's going to have a little bit of a curve to it. So I'm starting over here. I'm going to bring it kind of like this, like this, mm -hmm. and maybe around like this, and something like that. You're going to find that your your hat may look way different than mine. You could do a nice okay. square top hat. You I hope could I got do, my pieces whoa, connected. <laughs> I think I've got a little malfunction on my easel today. Okay. All right, hold on. Well, she made, she's making a lot of excuses. She's got a fly in her hair. She's got an easel that doesn't work. We good? We're good. All right. It, but I, she can I, see, I so. We're going to have to, for next video, 
do different um, Okay, well, I'm going to sip while she's doing that. Becoming quite the challenge. Um, all right, so I've got this area that I'm just continuing to um, Oops, I put my finger in, in my paint. with black paint. And again, you could modify the shape of it. You could make it bigger. You could make it um, squarer or rounder or shorter. Um, really, whatever you... Um, or like this. <laughs> do for the shape is fine by me. This section where the brim is going to be will pop out later when we okay. put snow on it. I don't so want to touch mine because I don't this step, know if I... Um, I will be using uh, this same, same brush, brush, which is going to be the round brush for the next step. Okay. So when you get done filling in that hat, you don't even have to wash this brush because we're oh. going to be using Oops. black paint. I washed it. You can just sit, relax, and perhaps take a sip and get ready for the I next already step. did that. <laughs> All right. Same brush. All right. So what we're Black going to be paint. doing for the next step, we're still using this number 12 round brush. We're going to be creating our arms slash branches. So I'm going to be mm. using black paint. The trick here is you kind of really want it to look like a branch. So as you're, um, what I do is I'm going to start, you know, where it's kind of like in the middle of this uh, midsection. And as I go out, I want my branches to get skinnier and skinnier. So what I do is I'm going to start and I'm going to kind of mark myself a little bit of a wide area, maybe about a half of an inch to an inch through there. And then that's where my branch is going to come out. And as it comes out, it's going to get skinnier and skinnier as the end of it, as I get towards the end of it. Okay. And I'm going to have a couple of branches coming out of one arm. Cool. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to have a birdhouse hanging from one of these. So my trick to getting these little Probably branches one on the other side the too, is as I am using a lot of paint for one, that's that's like trick number one. Um, you saw this one, I started at the top oh, and something. as I went towards the interior, I was pushing harder. So that's one way. Another way is if you're starting in the interior, and as you want to go towards the exterior, you, you lift off on your pressure. And that's going to allow you to have a nice skinny branch. Okay. So I'm doing these with just black paint for now. And what I'll end up doing is I'm going to end up, um, when I put snow later, okay. I will put some snow on the branches also. Because I'll be able to find the branches later, I'm sure. Right now, but I like to kind of wait until that black dries it makes it a little bit easier um so that's going to be that branch now i'm going to work on this one over oh here. i'm already done my and second one, one. <laughs> she's slow oh. just so, kidding no she's instructing we got to give her her well. due time but again i'm starting pretty wide as mm -hmm. it's coming out of the body and then gotcha. as i um am making my way towards the end that's when I'm going to let off on my pressure okay, and I'll make it on the skinny. Turn side. my paper towel um, while she's talking. All the while, I know that on this side, I'm going to be having a bird okay. on one of these branches. So I want to make sure I have some place for that bird to sit. So just know that. I think that's I put kind of a little branch going out that I'm sure I'll be able to find later to put my bird on. <laughs> step. Um, and Oops. we are going to be using our big brush for big the brush. next step. So after you get your branches done, I give them also a little bit of wiggle so they're not terribly straight um, as you go about it. Okay. Um, I think I, I gave mine some wiggle. my little tricks. So when you're done with this, put this uh, medium brush away in your water cup. You can take out the big brush, wash it and dry it, and get it ready for the next step. Okay. Ready. All right. So what we're going to be doing for the next step is we're going to be doing the shadow underneath our snowman. I am okay. using my um, large flat brush. I will be using black and my original gray. So when you do this, you're going to be using just a tiny bit of black, and you can wipe it off on the side of your palette. Oh no! I lost my paper towel. What I'm going to do is I'm essentially hit my foot. kind of underlining my snowman with like a rubbing kind of technique. Okay. It yep. does not have to be a perfect line. I want it to be kind of uneven. Okay. I do want to go a little bit up on the side so that Shadow. indicates that. You can see up on the, sides. the, the depth or the shadow. roundness up on the of the snowman as if it's casting a shadow. Yeah, we'll wiggle it out. 
Um, once you get that outline underneath there, I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm just picking up a touch of my original gray. Okay. And I'm, in essence, kind of blending the black into my gray ground. So this is going to give you a nice transition. Mm -hmm. You may want a little more black. You might want a little bit more brown. Whatever, you know, Oh, I didn't use brown. I just used black. And if you do it it's and okay. you're like, ugh, this is too much, don't worry, because we're going to have snow on the ground later. Okay. This really is just, we need something to tell the viewer that okay. our snowman is not floating in the air. So this is helping to accomplish that, that goal. This is making it so it does have that grounding effect. We know that it's sitting on Boy, on I paint a lot faster when I, <laughs> I can't um, see. <laughs> I'm less worried about my details, I guess. So I'll just sit. So when you're all done with this, we will be using that medium um, round brush, the number 12 round brush. Okay. So you can put the large brush away in your water cup, take out the medium one, and get ready for the next one. All right. I got gotcha. you. Got it. All right. So what I'm going to do with my medium brush is I'm making the first layer of my pine trees that are off in the distance. Okay. So I'm going to be using green and black oh, green. paint on my brush at the same time. Red, I don't pre-mix it. Red, I want these orange, to look like green. they're far off in the distance, so I'm going to go about halfway up this bottom um, section of the snowman. And these are meant to look like pine trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one section. line for the trunk, something like that. And if I want another one, I can make another one Here. of a shorter height. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the top and I'm going to do kind of a down and out motion with my brush. And I want those the branches to be longer or wider as they come down towards the bottom. So here we go. Okay. I'm just kind of There's one. moving my brush in a down and out fashion. I don't really want any of that trunk to show. You might okay. want to, but I don't. Um, hopefully so I, I have to do it until I <laughs> I did trunk two trunks and then I went down and out and hopefully <laughs> just to give the effect that and they think are they're supposed the to be shape. on the left hand side I don't know if she said that but I, just picked up a little bit I remember from the so picture I'm up a little bit more black and if you can you can have them light or dark whatever okay again, is visually appealing to you but your goal is to kind of get them into a kind of a triangle type shape okay I think I did um, that and I don't want to fuss I'm because I feel like I can't find them again so super clean triangle shape. we're just gonna hope that um, I did it right I, want, I can't remember if there's any on the right look. side or not. So I think that's good for me. I'm making this one a little bit longer, so it looks like it's a little bit more in front. And we are going oh, to be not. using our small brush Ooh, for the next step. Brush. So when you get this all set, you can put the medium brush away in the water cup and take out your small brush and get ready for the next step. Okay. All right, so for the next step, we're using this small round brush. I'm going to be making my bird. The colors I'm going to be using are red, brown, black, and white. And what I'm going to be doing, mm -hmm. I want my bird to be like just a little kind of dark red chickadee. So I'm mixing a little bit of brown and red. Okay. And I'm going to be making okay. um, two kind of circles. For me, the, where is it going? Um, Where's my bird going? The primary shapes for a bird for the body is an egg. So I'm going to make myself some kind of egg. Where's it going? <laughs> Probably in my branch. She didn't tell me where to put it. A circle so, for the head that kind of overlaps my egg a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right. And then I'm gonna make myself a little tiny. She beak didn't tell me where to put in it. In whatever direction you want. Egg in a circle. And then I'm gonna make myself a tail coming out behind egg. the branch, so it looks like it's on circle. the other side of the branch. So that's gonna be my shape. Now, tail. in order to make it look a little bit natural, I need a shadow and a highlight. So I did not wash my brush. I'm going to put a touch of black and a touch of brown on my brush and I'm going to do a shadow which is going to be underneath um, each section. So sure. I'm going to have a little bit of shadow <laughs> underneath my tail. Oh my gosh. At the bottom of my egg shape which is the body. Oh my gosh. And maybe a little bit at that neck Okay, portion. we're just gonna guess. That's here. going to um, okay. give the viewer the information that is sure. round, um, and it's got some little shadowy sure. areas. I'm also since I've got the dark color on my brush, I like to have a little tiny black or a darker beak. 
So okay. I just added a little bit of black to the beak. Oh no. Now, I just wiped I can't make a beak. My pants, but you could probably wipe yours off. Uh, my towel. hand is so dirty. I'm going to pick up a touch of white. Uh. And I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight to the head and the chest. Okay. I beak. added white and now I'm adding a white. little bit of red to that white. And if that ends up being too light or too pink for you, white. you can certainly counteract oh my gosh. the oh, that was pink what's look with a touch of orange. Highlight. The orange will counteract the um, Red. the pink. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm going to do. That's it, you don't right? Really need to go too in detail. Oh. <laughs> You're going to have um, a whole bunch of snow. There we go. I got a brush. <laughs> You just want to give the impression that I'm sure it's sitting water. right in the tree um, so too, the next right? Step, we will be using that number four brush as well. Okay. So just wash it and dry it and get ready for the next step. All right, step. I'm all ready. No, wait, I need a sip to get ready after I paint in my birdhouse. All right, so for the next step, I'm going to be making my birdhouse. Mm. So I'm using my small brush. Even better. The colors, are, which is the number four round, the colors I'm using are red, blue, black, and white. Okay. And red. I want to make my birdhouse Ooh. like a kind of like a country or Blue. like a purpley Blue. kind of color. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of red, a little bit of Oops, blue, and my a touch of white. You can certainly just red. use purple, but I kind of like um, sometimes mixing colors like this white. because it allows my red, blue, painting white. to have a cohesive Do I need to mix it? I think she said mix. using similar colors and just kind of mixing them into new colors okay. because you are using that particular um color palette they will okay. ha it will have a nice cohesion to it um and i touch more red here so it looks a little more purpley what am i doing so for she's the painting shape of my birdhouse i'm going really simple i'm gonna do um kind of i'm like gonna put it top. on this branch I'm just putting she's it probably not gonna tell me where i'm gonna be able to put a string to hang it so okay, it's gonna be right somewhere here. in this vicinity i'm gonna put the top of a triangle and then i'm gonna Put two uh, vertical lines Tropical. and a horizontal line. I'm going to color vertical, it in. Vertical, vertical, horizontal. My, whatever desired color colors. It in. I've had people do blue houses. You can do a red house. You can do color you know, it in. You can pick a color, um, whatever color you want. Kay. So I've got the shape in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just give my brush a rinse. Okay. I'm going to pick up some black paint and I'm going to do a roof. And when I do my roof, I'm going to extend it further than the shape that I have um, created. So okay. I'm just going to make that a little bit overhang, just a little bit from the original shape. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I've got to put somewhere so my bird can sit. So okay. I put this little kind of Am I doing black? balcony of sorts. A balcony. Um, <laughs> at the bottom here. Okay. And then I need a hole in my birdhouse. So if my bird wants to okay, get some shelter, you can go right There's into my balcony. The house. There's my ball. hole here. Okay. And then I need a string to attach string. the birdhouse to the tree. So you just want this to go straight up. My thumb. Okay, straight and up. And you can make it look like it's a circle like it's over oh yeah you know, the circle's not going to happen because i've already released my thing. <laughs> and we'll add snow to it later good and that's all i'm going to do i'm sure i'll be able to find it later too house i am going to use this small brush for the next step excellent so you can wash it and dry it and get ready for the next okay step. boy there's a lot of steps in this there's a lot of steps. Right, so for the next step, <laughs> little we're sips be, uh adding rose the rosy cheeks on so what I'm going to do is I'm using my small brush. I'm using uh, red, just a tiny, tiny bit, and white. And I'm going to mix the two together. I'm making a very light pink. So you'll notice the red is probably going to be really, really dark on you. I have a touch of black still in my brush, but that's OK. Red and white. So I just keep adding white until it's a really faint pink. You don't want it to be overpowering here. So once you get the desired pink, you're going to pick a spot for your rosy cheeks. I want my snowman to be looking off in my direction over here. So I'm going to pick an area, maybe I'm going to have this one over here. And I'm really just kind of rubbing on an area for this pink. I want one on that side. That is up here. And then I want one over 
on this side. And I actually think I want mine a smidge darker, so bear with me. I'm going to go a rosy cheek here. Darker. It's always easier to make it a little bit darker. And a rosy darker. cheek here. I'm sure that's exactly in the middle of his face. Got one there. One and if you need to the edges All to I need to do is remember where I put these later. Oh, maybe I shouldn't move my fingers. Blend it in with the face. Just put a little bit of white paint on your brush, and you can blend it right in around those edges. So I don't you don't think I had too much paint on my brush. To the, so I think I'm good the, with however um, they ended up. Because you want it to look like it's just natural, and it's just, you know, maybe the brightest in the, or the, pinkest in the middle and then it just fades off sure. into the face. And then we are going to use this same brush for the next step. So when you're all set with this okay. step, you can wash and dry. I'm afraid to move my hand because I want. I think I'm going on to more of the face. So I don't want to lose where I put the face. So that's why my right, finger's so not moving. Next step, what I'm going to do is I am putting my scarf into place. Okay. So I'm going to choose to use black, green, brown, and white. You could really make your scarf whatever colors you want. Um, I'm going to start with the black. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in essence, make large polka dots um, in the what? area. So if I want my what scarf What was that music for? Maybe come down polka dot? Here. Kind of oh, polka. That's like a polka song. Kind of polka dots. Um, I want to kind of forewarn you. If you make them really tiny okay, polka and dots. really um, in line polka with dots. each other, polka it's going to make it look like polka you're dots. choking your snowman. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. You polka want it dots. to be big and fluffy polka like dots. it's a big, warm, knitted winter scarf. Polka dots. So make oh. them nice and big. Okay. So Oops. here I go. I'm going to start my first one. Polka dots. Oh, this is and I'm going to make it maybe about almost an inch long. And I'm inch. just going to keep going along. You can see mine. I'm kind of curving. Oh, my gosh. And I am strategically placing them. I can kind of see my original outline of the, um, the snowman that we did with the gray color. So I'm really kind of just placing mine right along that line so it hides it a bit. All right. Um, and then I know I want my scarf to kind of start coming down in this direction. So oh, I'm that's right, it hangs down. These, oh boy. Like green in there. Go maybe in through here. Maybe this one is gonna kind of flick off and go out that way. And then maybe there's another piece of the scarf that's gonna come down this way. And okay. get them to go bigger as they come down Hopefully towards I got the bottom. Black polka dots. Um, I know also there's gonna be some fringe at the bottom. So wherever you feel like the bottom is gonna happen, you can start a little bit of fringe there. And okay. again, I'm just choosing to do um, these colors. You can really have it whatever colors you want. Once you get the black dots, then you're going to switch your color. So for me, I'm going to go for like um, kind of like an army green. So I'm going to take this green. How about I just go for green? I'm, gonna I'm just going to go for green. Some brown to well, it. all right, I'll go for green and brown. And that's going to make green. it like a like an army kind of green, which I like. I like those more mm. natural colors. Um, you oh. could certainly add brown. You could add a little bit of black or white to it. That's going to make it put, put gray into it. So it's really kind of a, a visual preference on your part. And once you get that color, you could just use the green oxide if you wanted. But That's what I wanted color, to, what you told me. You're going to do the same thing, but this time it's going to be right next to Oh, these to polka dots so are not going to work. I might have to just go section. for a fluffy scarf. So I'm just going to make... And again, I want it to look nice and fluffy. So <laughs> We're just going to swirl this in. <laughs> it's going to touch the black. Because I can't get the polka dots. Because I don't know where they are. So we're just gonna Be we're just gonna have a dark scar. We're gonna like go here, fluffy tops and we're to gonna it. go here. In through here, it doesn't okay. really matter. And we're gonna be putting snow on this too. Good. So if you get to an area, I gotta like, put my arm down because my arm hurts. Or I'm not really okay. totally sold on that. Don't worry because you'll be able to um, strategically place your snow in a little this. while, and that's going to help to make this really just all come together. Again, I'm just kind of putting these other ones in place here. I didn't do fringe, and, then when it and comes I didn't do polka dots. Fringe, Hopefully I got a scarf somewhere fringe, in the right vicinity. Fringe. No fringe for me. Go ahead and make a couple more here. And you can see it's 
see I just went through a little bit of wet black. Sure, Sorry. so didn't I. It's got a little shadow on it. Cool. It's, you know, there's so much play here and margin for error. It's okay if this doesn't come out exactly as you had planned. <laughs> I'm sure mine's going to come out exactly as I have <laughs> If this looks anything like a snowman when I'm done, I'm gonna I'm gonna consider it to be a win. With another layer of paint. You guys know much more than I do at this point what this looks like. So the next step after this, okay, what are we using? We'll be done with this brush as well. Okay, good. So I think I'm all prepared. Scarf in place. You can see how I'm. I think I need a nice paper towel. I got myself a backup paper towel because this one is destroyed. So we're gonna just throw that away. Okay, I'm ready. Clean paper towel, clean brush, ready. I already took my sip. All right, so what I'm doing for the next step is the nose. Oh, I should have so kept my finger I'm there. I'm going to do this first because I'm going to work my other features around the nose. Sure. I'm going to be using orange okay. and white are going to be my colors. Red. So I'm going to start with a little bit orange. of orange and white on my brush at the same time. Red and my white's right here. I know, theoretically, my nose should be between my two cheeks. You that can have it as high good. or as low as you want. It can be as straight or as crooked as it wants. I'm going to have my snowman looking this way. So looking what, what way? Is I'm going to decide where I want that nose to be. I'm going to make kind of like a, a backward C. A backward C? And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it out to the left hand side. Backward C. And make C. it nice and pointy. If you want to cross over your um, hat, that is a more difficult thing to do because the transition okay. of I'm cons oh I should leave my finger here because the light color to the dark the color is right makes it, it okay. difficult to cover so know that if you do decide to do that you may want up to or you may want to know that you're going to have to do a couple of coats to get it to cover okay. um which is fine you know sure. it just is going to take you a little bit longer it gives it a really neat effect because you can you know see that nose kind of poking out and having fun as long as you want it to be it I hope mine didn't go over the hat because um, <laughs> it seems like that's much more difficult if you wanted to go over is you could add some white to it let it dry for a minute and then um, then you can cover it well okay. but what I'm going to do is right now I'm just adding a touch more white to my brush and I'm going to put a highlight oh at the I top gotta find my of nose, my nose. And that helps to cover that area yeah. as well. And we are a going highlight. to use this small brush oh, no. for the next step. So once you get that it's tough to know nose how far in place, your brush, you're your going to wash and dry bristles. the small brush. And you're ready. For wash and dry a small brush. Okay. okay. All right. So what I'm going to do next, I'm using my small round brush, the number four. I'm going to finish the facial features. Okay. So I need some eyes. I need a shadow under my nose and I need my mouth. So I'm going to think of these as little pebbles that I'm putting on the face from the ground. So I'm going to be using black paint okay. only and I'm using my small brush and again one of my tricks is I take my brush and I spin it on the side of my palette and that's going to make it nice and pointy and or you could add a little bit of water. So I am going to put, uh, he's just going to have a couple of little tiny pebble eyes here. Pebble one eyes. There, Where are they there. I Up do want to put probably. a little shadow um, on the side of his nose as if, you know, when it's stuck in, it's got a nice little shadow back here. Shadow. So I'm just putting that on the okay. bottom right side of it. Okay. And then I'm going to put um, pebbles as, the, um, as his mouth. Okay. So I kind of want to go rosy spot to rosy spot. And I'm just making them just like the eyes. So I'm just kind of making these cute little dots. I don't even know if I have any pay on my just brush. Cheek to cheek. <laughs> I hope I got and Oh, man. Totally up to you. You can do a full on. <laughs> yes, I do. I just tested it on my hand. I can feel know, that it's wet. So. Pieces if you want, but that's. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, and we are going to use this small brush for the next step. So once you get these facial features done, you you don't even need to wash it because we're going to be using the same colors. Oh. Just, you know, relax. Okay. Get ready for the next step. I washed it. 
All right, so what we're doing for the next step is we are adding the buttons to the snowman. Okay, so I'm going to be buttons. using my small brush. I'm going to be, be using black paint. Um, you can also use your gray and or your white. Um, but I'm going to start them with black. Okay. I'm going to make four or five buttons. I'm going to do them on the left-hand side. So again, it makes the, the snowman look like you it over here. I'm going to start them smaller at the top and make them bigger as they go down. So I'm going to make them circles. Um, so there's my first one. Okay, we're gonna and as I come down, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. One. A little bit bigger. Two, and maybe this is going to be my biggest three. one down here. Once they're Hopefully in place, you can oh add a little bit of gray if you want to. Just add a little swirl oh. in there. This is my gray from my background. Okay, I can't um, find it again. if you wanted to, oops, that one, that one's extra big. Uh, if you wanted to, you could take a touch of Two, white three, and just four. add like white a little too? <laughs> kind of snow <laughs> the top of it. Sure. And Let's add some white to them. For the next step after this, we're going to still use this small brush, but I'd like you to wash it and dry it. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do for the next step, we're using our small brush. We're going to be adding the snow to our birdhouse, our arms, and our scarf. Cool. So I'm going to use my small brush to do that because I, I want it to kind of be a little bit more detail-oriented. Um, when doing this, I'm going to be using a combination, mostly white, but I'll also use a little bit of that original gray. Okay. White and gray. Oh, there's the fly again. Oh my God, there's so many there challenges. Nice it was like 60 degrees out, so the fly has come in the house. Um, Interesting. So I'm going to be using... At least I gave you a reason. ...for the snow on the scarf and on my birdhouse. And in the arms or branches, I'm going to be using a little bit of that gray and the white for the snow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my gray. And I'm just oh. kind of like streaking it in my branches. And this way the branches, the final branches. have a little bit more of, um, Find so the they're not as flat. They've got a little Find bit of dimension to them. You could incorporate a little bit more black but into where's it. Where's my bird? Like, oh, I'm doing this and it's, it's too, oh, no. too bold. Here's so where it all bring a little comes bit apart. There. Now that I've done that, Cause I'm, I'm sure I did great up white. to this and point. really what I try and do is just kind of loosely kind of uh, <laughs> like streak or place <laughs> the snow are. at the top side of sure. these branches. And sure. that way it's as if top it's side just of kind the of sitting on I probably should have stopped at the first blindfold um, one that I did. <laughs> falling in front of them. Let's try um, And this gives it a side. natural place that it would have accumulated. Sure. And I'm going to do that on the top of my um, birdhouse as well. Once Excellent. Let's find the birdhouse somewhere in here. I don't my brush tightly. I'm really just kind of got a good We're amount put of some paint on my brush. Snow on the I'm top there. I'm just kind of there. loosely letting it put itself in place on of course. these branches. <laughs> I, in, so this is a good thing and a bad thing, but right on this step, I don't have a sturdy hand. Um, I do so not, even when I'm blindfolded. It me when it comes to doing the snow because my hand kind of shakes as it goes. Um, but you can certainly do that okay, in a manual fashion. Um, I definitely some. want some going down my okay. on the top of my birdhouse, sitting right on the roof. Maybe it's sitting right on this little ledge. Of course. And again, I'm just using a little bit of white is paint. I don't, somewhere in here. Um, I have no idea where the ledge is, so we're just gonna sit where it wants pretend to. like we know. Oh, the scarf too. So it doesn't just have to be okay. at the top of the scarf. It scarf. can also kind of be, kind of be down a little bit on scarf. the scarf. 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 And I'm gonna put some scarf as if it's kind of sitting there, and I've got a, maybe a little pile scarf. over here. Scarf. And maybe scarf. on these little scarf. Um, bumpy areas <laughs> of the scarf. And again, you can use the snow to strategically sit in areas that you may not have thought were the best. So well, I that would be much easier if I could see what I was doing. <laughs> kind of want to cover, so it's a great place to let some snow sit. Okay. And then we're going to, after this step, we're going to switch to that medium. Medium. Um, brush that you have, the medium round brush that right. is number 12. You got and that. I'm going to use that brush to 
put snow elsewhere. I guess you could kind of put snow nice and Where you lightly putting? on the top of your bird. Maybe it's sitting. Oh no, I'm not putting bird. snow on the top of my bird. If I try and put snow on the top of my so bird, you've got the snow on all these it's, areas. It's my you bird. I can't. I have no idea where my bird is. Brush away in your water cup and take out the uh, medium round brush. And you're ready for the next step. Ready. All right. So for the next step, we're using the medium, uh, the 12, the number 12 round brush. We're going to put snow on your pine trees. I'm just going to be Oh, using no, I forgot where the pine paint. trees are. Okay, white, white, and white, white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same type of motion that I did for the first layer of the pine trees. I'm going to do that left to right, but I don't want to cover the pine trees all the way. And I also want little strokes in the middle of okay. the pine tree as Find well. your pine trees. So here we go. I've got white paint Find on my brush. your pine trees. I'm, I'm going to say there's somewhere in this vicinity. Down on um, my left finger. Or right, but now I've also got to do Tip down that brush. center. You don't want it to look okay. like it's a 1972 feathered hair <laughs> look to it. You want yeah, to make sure that you cover that okay. center. So you don't want the center to be unpainted. So okay. I just loaded up my brush for this. Okay. One. And I, you I got my pine trees done. Right, I'm sure they're exactly, I'm <laughs> sure I put that snow exactly down. on them. So I've got the left okay. and the right, and now I'm doing a little bit down the middle. And that's going to conclude that step. That's a Excellent. good little step. Uh, for the next step, we're going to use your big flat brush. So okay. once you get the snow on your pine trees, you can put this uh, medium round brush away in the water cup and get out your flat brush for the next step. All right. Almost. All right. There. So here we go. We're gonna let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Nice. So I'm using my big brush, my big flat brush. I'm gonna be using white paint. White. Um, I'm gonna be putting snow in various areas. So I need snow on the ground. I need snow in my hat. I need snow in my sky. And then if I need to, because I feel like I've got a couple areas in the belly or the air, the snowman itself, I might want to clean up a little bit. I might want to put more snow in there. Okay. So. This is going to be done with white paint unless you feel like you need to incorporate some of your original gray or anything like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm starting with my ground. I'm going to take some white paint and I need to provide myself almost like a horizon line. So I know that it has to be at the bottom of my trees and maybe in a similar spot over on the right side of the snowman. So I've got a good amount of white paint, and what I'm doing is I'm almost just kind of um, like bumping it. So that way I've got some thickness at the top. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing so I have an uneven line to it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lightly kind of take what's left okay. on my brush. I think I brought it over to the snowman. And disperse it Where? throughout the rest of the ground. Okay. So I don't really need to add any more to my brush. So what's going to happen is it's going to be very go bright at with the top. That shadow. It's going to end up a little bit darker down below. Okay. You can even put a little bit on top of some of that shadow. If you feel okay. like some of that shadow was a little bit too dark, All right. you can certainly use this snow <laughs> what else? to diffuse it a little bit or cool. get it a little bit more in a, a, in a more natural tone. All right. right now I'm just almost like scrubbing. Oh, I wasn't scrubbing. So what's going to happen too much because paint. this paint is see-through, Okay, and scrub. I'm just using, a, at this point, have just the remnants on my brush. What's happening is you're getting light spots and dark spots throughout the entire bottom of this canvas. I feel like I painted over the bottom of my feel like snowman. It's got the, the right look to it, but you can still identify the shadow underneath. Sure. You can um, still see that there's a horizon line. Cool. And now what I'm going to do is I've got to let it snow on my hat. Okay. So I'm going to pick up another good amount of snow. My nice immediate snow. spot that I want to do is the rim and the top because that's where oh, the snow gotta is find that hat. the most, or piling up the most. Okay, so I'm going find to your hat. where I want that rim to be, and clearly it should be like from here and you know over find to your here. Hat. That's going to be the edge. And you, again, find you can see hat. that I'm kind of puffing it in some areas. So it's not <laughs> Guide me, guys. Find my, <laughs> tell me left, go to the left, go to the right. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So this is where my snow would sit. All right. We're going to say it's and somewhere. Up for that matter. I know you guys and are probably saying, no, 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 it's to the left. You it's as much up. As I want in through there. Okay, we're going here. You can certainly play with this as much as you want. Now I've got to let it snow over the whole thing. Okay. But I think and then the top of my head. Kind of work on this because letting it snow over the whole thing is kind of the, the final, the final oomph okay. to it. So I'm just going to kind of dab some okay. white paint in these areas on the, on the snowman that I think are a little bit too... Well, I can't tell that. I don't need much. I just want to kind of Good. get rid of some of. Oops, I had a little orange on my brush there. Okay. Make sure his he's got enough highlight in. I can't here. do the middle because um, I don't know where I need it. Everywhere. So this is no. just a touch of of white on the on the corner of my brush, and this just helps to um, hide anything that that. Okay, I'm letting it snow everywhere. I guess I have a little orange on my brush too. No big deal. Adds to the, the okay. colorful aspect of this it. This is going to make it all better, right? So I, you don't necessarily have to reload your brush when you go to make it snow everywhere. Um, there's many different techniques that you can use with flicking um, a paintbrush or with using different sponges and stuff. But okay. I'm, I'm just going to use this brush. I like to use like the corner of it. Okay. And I'm just going to almost kind of okay. dab it everywhere. Tap, the corners can give me more of like a little tiny dot. If I was hey, to it's go snowing through, everywhere. I have, um, uh, an unnatural kind oh, of looking I went dot. Off it would be like a long, an elongated one. So I'm just okay. kind of using the corner. Just it let it snow tap. in front of my snowman. So okay. that's why you see me doing in front of the hat. I don't even know if I have any more paint um, on my brush. And you can have I feel like there's a little, so I'm probably you want. There could probably be a okay. Blizzard going on. So if you feel like you need to reload your brush at any time, I feel like I should reload. So I'm kind of reloading mine right now. Um, really, she's reloading. Big snowflakes and little snowflakes. It's totally All right, to maybe you. she reloaded. Um, I should reload. 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 Use. Again, like I said, like with flicking it, but I like my snow to just be kind reload. of soft. Top. Um, and I just Let's find go. that if Let's I go. Use snow these brushes and just keep dabbing the um, the snowflakes on there, what happens is it kind of gives it this really full feel to it. Sure. Um, as opposed to making it look like they're stars, which sometimes I think when you do the flicking method, that's what it will resemble first. It's stars as mm -hmm. opposed to snow. Um, but it's totally up to you. Right. Um, this is, in essence, the final painting step of the painting. Um, but we do have one more Ooh. step to accomplish. Is it signing? After you've gotten oh, this. I totally done. want to sign we blindfold. Are to <laughs> so. Small brush. Oh, don't put it in your wine glass. Oh, that was just the bottom. But I'm just kind of okay, she's still making stuff. snow. I'm going to get my small brush ready. I'm excited to sign. I'm excited to take off my paint, my uh, blindfold. I can feel a whole bunch of paint on my glass. It's amazing the senses that get awakened when you when you have shut off one of your main sen sen uh, senses. Okay. Well, it's hard to stop. Okay. Stop I'm making done. snow. We're done making snow. Go on to the next step. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, I'm done. All she right, can't so stop. <laughs> you can put away the big brush. Take out your tiny brush for that last, Got last it. step. Okay, here we go. All right, so the last good step to Can't any wait. painting is to sign it. So I'm going to take my small brush, black paint. Okay. I sign my initials, bottom left, bottom right. You can sign bottom whatever left. you want. Okay. That's it. That's going to conclude oh, this painting. That was fast. I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you love your painting, and I look forward to painting with you again sometime. Okay, wait. Okay. I know you guys are like <laughs> probably laughing at me right now, but let's take off the blindfold. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Look at my birdhouse. Looks like a birdhouse. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cute. I wish I had the face a little bit more lined up with the nose. <laughs> but and the hat, it's kind of cute. I missed some of my canvas in through here. I guess I should have had more paint on my brush. But it kind of looks like a snowman. <laughs> so I'm going to consider this a success. I hope you enjoyed watching and that this has just inspired you to just enjoy the process of painting. Have fun whenever you can. And just, you know, go out and paint. I look forward to painting with you again sometime. Bye.